try and film this without falling over the various bits of trees that are in the way but uh, just for a change we're this time in Lake Barla in North Wales we went to see Toby and Jenny yesterday which was uh, Friday no actually didn't we went to see Toby for his birthday on Thursday traveled here yesterday um, we're here for today and part of tomorrow but for their wedding if you saw that video we had storm Freya that caused a little bit of a, a challenge to us well there's another storm coming along now can't remember what it's called but it's due to hit us tomorrow morning and they're forecasting winds of 60 to 80 miles an hour so we're making the most of a little bit of a sunshine now and a walk beside the lake so one or two shots of what's around just so you can see it's very pretty but very cold Little did we know just how bad the weather was going to be the next day in what has now been referred to as the storm of the century. debris on the road before we even really start. There was no alternative but to turn round, retrace our steps, go back over the top of the mountain and go all the way back to Lake Bala. We bought some petrol, had a cup of coffee, regrouped and decided that we would go the long way around via the A5. Even then, that road wasn't that easy either. The rest of the journey was fairly uneventful really and eventually everybody got back okay. In fact the further east we travelled the better the weather was. My shout out this week is Rory. I'm sure you have come across his work but if you haven't follow the links and have a look for yourself. 
perhaps I'm being a little hard on myself because just a couple of days later the plan for this video changed quite drastically. When my instructor Steve decided I was ready to do something I will never forget. You might be able to guess where this is going. Here on Rory on Air is my first solo flight in a helicopter. Steve Davey just evacuated the aircraft and is uh, standing a safe distance away wearing a bright yellow jacket with a portable radio. And I'm now going to check through the pre-takeoff checks to make sure everything's in the green and looking good before I lift up into the hover. OK, nobody around that way. He's going to tell me when I can go. Engine RPM is in the green, all the warning lights are out. Engine T's and P's in the green, 58% fuel, RPM in the green, 32% power with pedals neutral. Uh, friction off. Off student heli centre 15. Well, here we go. Warning lights are all out, T's and P's in the green. 15. In the last video, I said that it was going to be a rather hectic time for me, and that wasn't going to be a flying hectic time. Uh, weather's made sure of that as well, because February so far has been a non flying month. The video from Lake Bala was filmed over the weekend of the 7th and the 8th. It wouldn't be my channel if I didn't include a little bit of flying and what I thought I might do is put together a, a small compilation of interesting aviation museums that you can actually fly into. The first one is Stomaris which recreates the airfield as it would have been in 1917 when it was one of three that defended London from the Zeppelins. Departing to the southwest, changing the farmer on 132 decimal 8. Go Vega Hotel, final full stop 2 1. Traffic here from overhead, descending, left side, left I got it. Go 
Derby Radio, Harvard Golf, Bravo, Juliet, Sierra Tango is inbound. See where he's landing, kind of. Yeah. Somebody just turning downwind there by looking at it. Golf over to it, Sierra Tango, Kirkby Radio, hello there. Runway 24 left down, the QFE 1019. QFE 1019, and runway 24 left hand. And my current position is about 5 miles southeast of Boston, so still about 10 miles to run. Roger. Golf Charlie Tango, uh, yeah, keep going now in that direction, follow the marshes for parking. Go back a hotel, late final. Go back a hotel, Roger, the surface wind is 1605. Go for Oscar Romeo, downwind, contact one, late final. Go for Oscar Romeo. If you know of an interesting museum that you can fly into, leave it listed in the comments below. That would be rather nice to be able to share that. <laughs> 